Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your burst coin plots from regular plots into optimized plots. The advantage being that the plots are scanned faster by your mining software, and that means that you can report your deadlines to the pool quicker and therefore earn more burst coin uh, with the same hardware, same interface. So I'm going to be showing you that on Worker 3, which is one of the uh, rigs that I use for burst coin mining. So I'm just going to log in remotely using Team Viewer, and then we'll just focus on this main window here now. So this is the Plot Optimizer GUI, which is the actual program that we're going to be using. Um, I'll put a link in the actual video description so you can download it directly, and it's going to look a lot like this on the uh, inside. In fact, it's gonna look exactly like this because it will be exactly this one that I will upload and share with you guys. Um, so that's the actual plot optimizer. What you're gonna need is a original plot. So I'm actually gonna start this process with one of my active uh, plots because it's something that I need to do. So on this uh, Toshiba 9 drive here, and in the plots folder, I have a great big plot, but it's not optimized. And um, so what I want to do is I want to optimize it using the uh, the plot optimizer software. And what that's going to do is going to take this file, it's going to reconstruct it and put it in a, another location. Um, so there's a few uh, details that you need to know. So let's get started with the plot optimizer, and I'll show you um, those details and the important information. So if we just start it, it is a Java file. Um, so make sure that you have it in Java installed on your system before you get uh, started. You can also run a command line version as well, but this is the, the easiest version. So I'm just going to close these uh, upper windows now, just so we can focus a little bit, and I'll talk you through the, the different details. So the top part is the path to the unoptimized plot file. So that is what I just showed you uh, just a second ago. So it is Toshiba 9 in my case, plots. And then we're going to select the unoptimized file. The second part is you need to put this the the new optimized plot in a in a different location. Uh, sorry, just see that update. Just going to make sure that that actually is correct. Yep. H. So just a little bit of delay on the refresh there. So I just wanted to double check that. Okay, so the second part is where we're going to actually store it. So if it's a small plot file and you have uh, the correct amount of space on the same hard drive, you can replot back to the same hard drive. Um, but what you can't do is you can't overwrite the original plot. Um, so you can't have a, a regular plot and then sort of re rewrite the optimized plot back over itself. So you need some spare space. Um, to put the plot somewhere. So what I'm going to be doing in this case is copying sort of from one drive to another. Um, but like I say, if you've got free space, you can replot on the actual same drive itself. So I'm going to select where I've got some free space. So that is a uh, Toshiba 10. And I'm just going to select the plots optimized folder. So the new optimized plot will get put in here. So I'm going to select that. Then we've got the option to select how much RAM we want to use for the optimization process. Um, I used two previously and that worked well, but this time I'm going to use four gigabytes and hopefully that will help improve the actual optimization process. Hopefully it will run through a little bit quicker. Um, so you've got the option to delete the original plot file when done. Um, I'm not going to check that. I'm just going to make sure everything goes through fine and then I will manually delete it myself. So from that point, we're kind of ready to start start this whole thing off. So to get started, we then click on the Optimize button. Very faintly, it's difficult to sort of see, but you will notice um, at the bottom here, uh, it's actually not a great example, but at the bottom, if you have any um, update statuses, error message, or anything like that, it will be in a faint gray text just along this bottom edge here. So look out for that. Once it started running, it will say processing the scoop one of um, X amount of number. I think in my case, it'll be 4,096. And those scoops will increase. And um, this bar here, you have a percentage um, of the actual progress that's been done. And you also have an estimated time 
uh, remaining. The estimated time and pro is quite is quite accurate. So as it continues, it will get a better and better estimate. Um, oh, just back on that bottom. See, so you can see here it's processing scoop one of four thousand and ninety six. So if you get any error messages or anything like that, it's going to be on this bottom here. It's quite difficult to see, but just look carefully, and you should sort of uh, see that on the bottom there. So then all you need to do is just leave that running until it's uh, completed. It'll get to 100% and it will tell you the total time taken. At that point, you can just click uh, stop or you can just close the actual box and you will have a newly optimized uh, file ready for you to work with. Okay, guys, so that's it for this one. Hopefully you found this information useful and informative. Uh, please like and subscribe and um, thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys on the next video.